looping through a list. A list is an i treble. You can access each item in a list using the loops command. You can use a for loop, you can use a while loop, and you can use a list comprehension. In this video, we'll be using the for loop and the while loop. We will take a look at list comprehension in another video. Here I have two lists, a list of names which contains strings and then a list of integers. To loop through a list using the for loop, you're gonna type for each item in the list. It's a list that has names. So I'll say for names in names. That is each name in the names. I will print out each of the name. You would see right here, you have each of the names printed out. I can see, say, let's say all of them are Bakaris. So it's going to print out first name and then it's to put Bakari. It will put the second name here and then it will put Bakari. The third and the fourth name is going to put uh, Bakari at the end of it. So you can implement a lot of operations and expressions in the for loop while it is easier to use the for loop to access each item in a list you can also use the while loop however in the while loops you will have to do more um, coding i'm going to declare a variable that gives me the total number of items that are in the list and then i'll declare another variable that specify the index of each item Matthew is on index zero, Ryan is on index one, and the others are on other index. And there are four items in the list names. To get the value or the number of items in a list, you use the length function. I'm going to create a variable called total, and I'm going to store the total number of items in names in neat. The function I'll use is the len function, and I'll say len names. This will give me the total number of items that is in names. As you can see here, in the variables here, I have total, four is stored in total. And then I'm gonna say ind, that's the index. I wanna have the first index is index zero. So to use the while loop, I'll say while index is lesser than total, total is the total number, index is um, zero. So basically saying while zero is less than total, then it should print out names index. This names index, the first one is a zero, so it's going to print out zero so now this is an endless loop and um, it will keep printing out matthew matthew because end is zero after matthew if i, if I want to uh, break out of the loop i'll say end plus equals to one that is add one to end and the first instance is going to be names zero it will print out this and then it will loop again and um end will be two then it will print out Ryan, it loops again like that. And that is how um, we get the total number of items it will be printing out. If you run this code now, you will see the printout is Matthew, Ryan, Balls, and John. It's gonna print out each of these items. And of course I can also give it a surname the same way I did with for loop. I can say Bakari, you see, so in this while loop, you can write several operations dealing with each item in your lists. Let's take a look at another example where we print out even numbers using for loop through a list. So let's use the ages list. I'm going to loop through it. I'll say age in ages that is each age in the ages list then print out the age now this is going to print out every item in the list 
While looping through the items, I wanted to only print out the even numbers. So I'm going to put an if statement here. I'll say if age with the modulus sign 2 is equals to 0. That is, if you divide each age, each of these item, if you divide it by 2, if it gives you 0, then it should print the age. If not, it should go and pick the second one until it finds. You can see from here that it's only print out two items, that is two and six. In all these items, these are the only even numbers that are there. If I want to print out to reverse it to print out only the numbers that are not divisible by two, I can do it this way. And that is not equals to 2. If you divide it by 2, it's going to give you a remainder. So you can see the results coming out here. And um, this is using a for loop in lists.